Hello, so um, I'm continuing what God wants to reveal. Um, so, we were talking about fake Christians will be judged. They are the tares within, mixed within the wheat. Um, these Satanists, uh, which Satan, Lucifer, and the devil are all one. He's the light bearer. Jesus is the true light. Um, he the uh, Lucifer, the light bearer, the devil, Satan is all one, the dragon, all one person. Um, but it's a spirit person because the word of God never says that he became a man. He said that he fell as lightning. Um, and it's because um, he comes in the spirit world and all of his demons follow him, which is spiritually um, speaking. Now, we don't search spiritual things, but we we believe in in the Son that He came and He came became a man. Now, um, uh, the difference is with us, the Holy Spirit is with us and in us. With Jesus, He was the Holy Spirit. He was um, a man also, born of a woman. Whereas the Antichrist, Jesus said that there are many Antichrists, but one will come. Well, we know that Hitler was an Antichrist. We know that um, many people are Antichrists in this world. Freemasons and Jesuits are Antichrist. They don't believe that Jesus came in the flesh. They reject the cornerstone, which is Jesus. They're the ones that the Word of God talks about. Um, Jesus showed me that... Um, the Antichrist was never made into flesh. He possesses someone fully, but he possesses many men. And these men use their hands as um, a tool uh, to put people under a spell with, using witchcraft. They go to groves, uh, research bohemian groves. These elite go to the groves, just like in Second Chronicles 33, God rebukes them. Um, these men follow the philosophy of man. They are very into spiritualism. They're the princes of Baal. They're the the lions. You know, in the Word of God, it talks about the lions, the princes. Um, but but really, it's the spirits that are around them because we fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. And these these powers are in 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 high places in government in. Uh, wealthy people. Jesus denied the wealth and the kings of the earth whenever he was being tempted by Satan. God tempts no man. But Lucifer, Satan, yeah. well, Satan and the devil are just titles. Lucifer, he he's basically a deceiver, a lying spirit. And these men, fraternities and sororities of um, demonic uh, philosophy of men, which God said, beware of philosophies of man, of the rudiments of men, of the world. He said, beware of, um, don't follow after these things and um, man's traditions. These are men who follow tradition all the way back to Nimrod and the Tower of Babel. And um, these men have legions of demons in them. And they have spiritual feelings and euphoria and just a feeling of spiritualism. They leave their bodies with their spirits. They, they do blood rituals and different things in secret. But in public, they look like these well-dressed people who are, are real, uh, doing really uh, charitable things or really good men. Um, and that is a, a total deception, which Satan is a deceiver and a liar. And he is double-minded. Um, these people think eat off the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Uh, they put their, their left hand, I think, in their shirt in order to hide what they do, but they hold their right hand out and they do good with this right hand, which is the tree of the knowledge of man's good and man's evil. Jesus said, only God is good. Okay, um, <clears throat> So these people seek spiritualism. They seek, they, they seek lying wonders. They seek... Um, a man who has power and the spirit. And a lot of Christians seek those things too wrongly because those things can get you caught up in, um, in, in witchcraft. That's witchcraft. Um, Jesus said the only thing we have to do is have faith and believe and follow him and do what the Father says. That's not, not he never taught seeking 
a feeling or an emotion or a higher thing. He cried with, yes, he cried with um, Mary and the, and, um, the ones that lost Lazarus whenever he died. Um, he cried. Um, but angels can deceive and do, a, he, because Jesus was a man and he had Im, human, human emotions and he helped people and he loved people. But the beast that comes up out of, out of the, um, the earth, um, sounds like a lamb, but has two horns, but is a dragon. This is them. Okay. And, um, they get themselves in our mind. In our mind, our will, our, our emotions, they, they mess with our emotions by showing us war on TV or the threat of war or, you know, fighting Democrat versus Republican or race baiting us or, you know, using technology or, or you know, all these things. It's trauma-based mind control. And it says in the Word of God that Michael and his angels fought the dragon. In the spirit world, they're fighting. There's things going on. The kingdom of heaven is within us. Try to visualize this. The kingdom of heaven is within us. Jesus talked about the spirit of God is within us, those that believe. And um, all the whole, um, everything tries to advance into the kingdom of heaven in war. And, and they fight and they try to um, force themselves. They force themselves into the kingdom. That is them coming in through our eyes, through the TV, television, making... Um, magic in, in us, trying to make us to follow magic, trying to get us to do sorcery, making us do witchcraft, horrible scopes, and all these other things, yoga, you know, all these things. That's how, say, you know, Satan comes into our, into our mind. When you figure it out, and that's why Trump had the magic ball with the Saudis like a couple weeks ago, that's how they do it. They use sorcery, the television, television, and they like us looking at the TV because that's how they can control us. And they show, they show um, using that to control humanity through magic. That's why they put their fingers on it, because they were showing how they're magicians and that they're put, hip, putting a, a spell on us, hypnosis. And so the, the, the demons inside these masons, they're channeling these spirits, and they're using them to, to gain power over people. And they, they get all the wisdom and the, the knowledge they're knowledge seekers so that they can build their machines and everything. They cause chaos. They'll cause a war if we start waking up and seeing this. And we tell other people they, they're going to cause a war because they, they create order out of chaos. That's what they do. That's their their mode of, of, of working. So they cause World War One. They cause World War Two. They cause the French Revolution um, by buying up all the bread. You can research in history and see how they've done things. Even Egypt, when God delivered the people out of Egypt, out of captivity and slavery, he, he, the same thing was going on. You know, they they wanted to go back into Egypt because it was comfortable. But when you turn off that television and you stop listening or reading the magazines and the news and you stop going to the malls and you stop doing these, buying their things, okay, their money-making machine, making merchandise of us, which Jesus took the whip to the merchants, okay, took the whip to them. They're not Holy Spirit-filled, okay? They're, they're loving man and themselves and they're, they're creating um, self-worship, okay? Um, that's why you see all their statues everywhere, all over the world. Anyways, um, they're demon channeling Freemasons and Jesuits. They're channeling demons. They're doing witchcraft. Um, and when they do that in, in at the podium of a church, I really get upset. God says, be angry, but do not sin. I don't hate them. I just, it's upsetting that people are being hypnotized and murdered, you know, 